Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amadai Shakur. And so the slain gunman in the Texas mall shooting has been identified as Mauricio Garcia, 33 years old. Let's get into it. Law enforcement authorities say that Mauricio Garcia was armed with a handgun and a rifle and also was wearing a tactical vest and they described him as a suspected neo-Nazi sympathizer. The gunman who deleted at least eight people and injured at least half a dozen more was taken out on Saturday by an officer who just happened to be at Allen Premium Outlets, which is about 25 miles north of Dallas. A preliminary review of what is supposedly his social media accounts uh, basically shows that he had hundreds of posts uh, that spewed racially and ethnically motivated hate and extremism and also uh, espoused white supremacy. Pay attention. Uh, that includes neo-Nazi material. A neighbor who wants to be identified only as Julie said that she would see Garcia coming to and from work and that he tried to acknowledge them, but he seemed a little off. And basically, he wasn't someone that you could hold a conversation with. Uh, she also said that when she found out who the, who the uh, shooter was, you could have knocked her over with a feather because she was clearly perplexed. Okay, another neighbor, Gilda Bailey, uh, said three police squad cars were parked outside of his home when she got there. She said that they would not let the suspect's relatives inside of the residence and that she saw the FBI removing items from Garcia's home. She said, I don't understand what trigger, triggered him. Another neighbor said that living so close to a suspected mass killer uh, is chilling. Just the thought of living a few houses down from someone who can do something like this is scary and gives you more caution. Uh, this is what Moses Cam Karen said. I don't know why people want to shoot innocent people for no reason. Well, that's because they tend to be psychopaths and sociopaths. That's why. The police, the Texas Rangers, the FBI, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives are all investigating this as a case of ethnically and racially motivated extremism. Authorities are saying that the shooter acted alone and that this is the second deadliest shooting in the USA this year and the second shooting in Texas in just over a week. Okay, I just want you all to pay attention to how, how all of these mass shootings are on the rise. Uh, this is, is all giving the Democrats further reason to try to confiscate our guns. Okay, uh, just pay attention to that. At the end of the day, we need gun reform. I continue to say this, but what we don't need is for them to take away our guns. Okay, uh, they need to just basically be a little bit more careful about how they distribute the guns, how people are able to purchase the guns. Okay, uh, psychological exams should be taken uh, before people are allowed uh, to purchase guns and obtain a license to carry. That's just my opinion, but hey, what do I know?